In this video, let us learn the construction of tangent to a circle at a given point when its center is not known. So again, for those of you who do not know what is tangent, it is nothing but a straight line that touches a circle on its circumference at just one point. Now in this particular video, we are going to construct a tangent to a circle at a given point when the center of the circle is not known. So we've got a question here. Draw a circle of radius 4 centimeters and take a point P on it. Without using the center of the circle, draw a tangent to the circle at point P. So let's do this now. So here we need to construct a circle of radius 4 centimeters. So here we are. Let's measure 4 centimeters in the compass. So here we've got 4 centimeters. So let me draw a circle. We don't know the center yet. Or we're not supposed to use the center to draw the tangent. So now the second step, now that we've drawn a circle without using the center of the circle, we need to draw a tangent at a point P. We need to take a point P already. So let's take a point P, say somewhere here. This is point P. And the first step is to take a point R in the circle and join or say, just draw any chord PQ on the circle. Say I'll draw it like this. So this point is going to be Q and we've drawn a chord PQ. The second step is take a point R on the circle and join P and Q to the point R. Say I'll take R here. Now join P to R and Q to R. Here it is. So it's done now. Now what do we have to do is construct an angle QPY such that it is equal to PRQ or QRP. So we need to use a protractor and measure the angle QRP here. So let's measure the angle QRP. It is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, it's 62 degrees. So now we need 62 degrees from here. So let's keep this the protractor here and construct an angle 62 degrees. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 62 is here. So use this point and join it to P and extend it further. So here we are. We've got a tangent here. Name this Y and name this X. This can be extended on both sides. So the line segment XY is the tangent of this circle. So we've constructed this tangent XY through P without using the center of the circle. And it was a pretty easy one. All we need to do is construct angle QPY such that it is equal to angle QRP, which was 62 degrees. And we got this as 62 degrees as well. So that's it then. Thank you.